Hello YouTube, I am Matt Video Productions, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. This tutorial is fully working as of this date, 10-24-2019, so let me know if it's not working any time past that, and I will make you guys a new tutorial. But anyways, this tutorial is going to be for automatic fishing, fully automatic fishing in Minecraft. This tutorial works on both the Bedrock version of Minecraft and the Java version of Minecraft, which this tutorial is being displayed in today. It's a very quick, simple, and easy tutorial. Anyone can do it. You just need iron to be able to do this tutorial. And the purpose of uh, fishing in Minecraft, or automated fishing in Minecraft, is actually uh, to be able to get uh, really powerful in-game enchanted items, or just enchanted books in the game uh, very early on, just only the Iron Age, basically, of your Minecraft adventure. So yeah, it's going to be very useful for getting enchanted books, essentially. Now, the normal way fishing works in survival Minecraft is you find a nice little pond or a river like this, you take out your fishing rod, and you just right-click to cast, and uh, you'll start fishing. And basically, you wait for the little fishing rod to uh, get some, like, particles around it that lead up and bob down and, and grab your fishing rod, and then you catch either a fish or an enchanted item or whatever it may be. And of course, you can enchant your fishing rod to uh, get better ones. Oh, there's one. We just caught a fish. You get an achievement for uh, fishy business. So yeah, we just got a raw cod. But anyways, yeah, that's how fishing works in normal survival Minecraft. Now I'm going to show you how the advanced fishing works with uh, this special device we are going to build in this tutorial. Now, if we come over here, I've already built the device. Uh, this is what it looks like. It is only three blocks tall and four blocks long. And again, like I said, it only requires uh, iron items. So you just need to mine a little bit of iron to be able to afford this device. These are actually all of the items that you will need to build it, but we'll get into building it later. I'm just gonna show you how it works for now. So you stand on your chest. You look over this direction and you just right click and hold on it and make sure your cursor is over the note block and you will start the automatic fishing. You do have to hold down um, the right cursor, but it's a small price to pay. And there you go, we just caught something. You can see it just make a, uh, quite the noise when, when you catch something. And you'll also notice that the items actually don't go directly into your inventory. That's why we actually have the chest is so it's all just automatically collected into uh, the chest. But again, make sure you're looking at the snow block. We just caught another thing. And uh, yeah, you, you kind of get the idea. This is how it works. If we go into the chest, we can see we caught a puffer fish and some rotten flesh. But we caught those very, very quickly. And with an enchanted fishing rod, you actually collect more items. But anyways, let's get into how to build this thing. So you can actually even build this in your house or just outside on a plot of land. Again, like I said, it's only three blocks tall and four blocks long. So it doesn't take a, a very large area up at all. Essentially, what you want to do is dig four blocks out like this. We're just going to go in a row into the ground or into your house, whatever that may be. You then want to get your chests out, go to the left side of your hole and place them like this so they're connected into a larger chest. Then you want to get your hopper out. Look over on this side of the chest that's facing the rest of the dug in hole. Crouch so you can place the hopper on the side of the chest and then right click Make sure it's facing on that side, and there you go, you just made a hopper that is connected to this chest. As you can see, if I just throw this dirt into it really quick, it should all get transferred right into this chest. So obviously that's where your collected items go, they go on the hopper and into the chest. Then you want to get your fence post out. Again, shift click so you don't accidentally click into the hopper, and place it just right on top of the hopper like that, it should just float right over it. Then you want to get your water bucket out. Again, look down at the hopper, but shift click so you make sure you don't go into the hopper and then you right click like that and it should flow from on top of the hopper down into this little hole. Then you want to get your heavy weighted pressure plate out and place it on top of the fence post like that. If you walk into it, it should just press down. Then you want to grab out your note block, your cobblestone and your iron trap door. Look down at this grass block or whatever block you have here facing the water. Place the note block down there. Shift click again so we don't actually click the note block and place whatever kind of random block you have lying around on top of the note block. This block is only here so we can place this trap door. Then you just want to look over here at the bottom of 
your extra block and place it like that so it's just kind of in line with the pressure plate like this. You can then break this block if you want, but you actually don't have to. It doesn't really matter whether or not it's here. You then have uh, fully created a fully working uh, automatic fish farm. In Minecraft, you then just get your fishing rod out. Again, like I said before, walk onto the chest right here. You then just want to look at this top part of the uh, pressure plate, hold down right click, it'll start throwing it, and then you want to slowly move your cursor down to the note block, and now you're automatically fishing. You want to, again, make sure your cursor is on this note block. There we go, we are automatically fishing like this, and we just hold the cursor and wait. I have heard that there may be some automatic programs online that will do this for you, just hold the cursor down for you, but I, I would consider that cheating in Minecraft. So uh, yeah, again, you do have to hold down this cursor if you want to do it fully legitimately, I would say, but you still get some amazing items, especially if you have a really nice fishing rod. And also, uh, keep in mind, your fishing rods will eventually break, so you have to make a couple of those. But you can also fish out enchanted fishing rods, believe it or not, with this method, so you could never run out, theoretically. And yeah, like I said before, this works on Bedrock and the Java Edition. It should give you some nice items. I'm actually going to be building this in my live stream world next time I live stream. And you also get tons of experience with this, uh, by the way. Forgot to mention. So it's a really good experience grinder as well. Just a really good uh, little machine in general. So yeah, anyways, when you want to stop, you just right click like that. It'll close down and there you go. As you can see, we got some leather, raw salmon, and raw cod. With an enchanted fishing rod, you could get even more items, theoretically. Again, like I said, enchanted books and stuff. But anyways, that is going to do it for this little tutorial. If you guys are going to end up using this in your world, please let me know uh, down in the comments below and leave it a like if uh, if this is helping you guys out at all in Minecraft. As you guys probably know, if, if you're subscribed to my channel, I've been doing tons of live streams lately and they're lots of fun. I, I come and I talk to the chat and everything and it's just awesome. So uh, subscribe to my channel and make sure you watch out for those live streams and join in and come chat with me. I, I love talking to you guys. And also, I now have a Discord. The link is going to be in the description below, so if you want to join the Discord, you can uh, chat with me personally and uh, send memes and stuff, and it's just tons of fun. So anyways, guys, uh, I'm at V Productions. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial or live stream or video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.